Look, it's in here so tight. I can barely, I'm really straining to get it out and I can barely pull it out. It's just crazy. Look at this. Welcome to our new subscribers. Thank you very much. And welcome back to everyone else. I ran into a situation with this uh, Oxbow Western Timothy Hay. You may have noticed that it's in new packaging. Now packaged in a 90 ounce. It's packaged um, <laughs> in a much more compact uh, manner. So I ran into a problem. You may have experienced this yourself. Why is it a problem? Well, this is why. I'll open it and show you. And for those of you who have seen my other video about this nice hay rack, this is great. Um, but with the new bag, what I would do is I would set it down inside the bag and fill it up. But I can't do that now because the bag is smaller than the, um, the hay holder, the hay rack. And it used to be the opposite. So. Um, in order to avoid making a mess all over the floor. Here you go, ladies. Here's your hay rack back. <laughs> yeah, it's there. It's yours now. You can have it. I've come up with a brilliant solution. I have a wonderful little tote to put it in. Uh, the bag is 90 ounce. Well, I found a 18 gallon tote. So I've already tested this out once uh, last week just to make sure this really worked so I could film the video and know what was going on so I could be informed. So I've already used it and have some stiff down at the bottom. Now usually what I would do is I would just put it in the compost outside, but I'm going to keep it uh, right now because I'm just too lazy to clean it out. <laughs> and I need to get this video done because I have um, some Etsy orders to uh, do. In fact, I'll go over some of that near the end. So I have this big bag, right? It's 90 ounce Timothy Hay from Oxbow, which I love. It's like one of my favorites. This is like really good quality if they don't use it already. So what I do is I just dump the bag in the bin. Like so, and it's really difficult to get out. I mean, it's still in there. It's in there so tight. I don't know how on earth they would expect anyone to get it out. In fact, um, I actually contacted the company and I told them that. I said, I really love the bag because it's supposed to be less packaging, which is good for the earth, but I can't get it out and it's like a problem because I kept getting hay on my fingernails and splinters in my hands, which is awful. Actually, I can't, I can't get it out. And it really hurts my hands to pull it out. I can't imagine what it feels like for a guinea pig to get hay poked if this is how much it hurts for me. Ow! It's really in there tight. I even thought using tongs would be easy to get it out, but it really isn't. And then I ended up pinching myself with the darn tongs, so so much for that bright idea. If you have a better idea than getting it out of the bag without cutting open the bag, let me know. I'd love to hear your solutions to this. Um, I could cut the bag open. I know it's the easiest thing to do, right? I like to reuse them for putting my recycling in and stuff. Oh. I'm actually surprised the girls aren't weeping. Hey girls, why aren't you weeping? Oh, there's Yuna. Hi Yuna. Let's see if we can get her. Hi Yuna. Can I say hello? Can we see you? Just give me the hay. My, my hay rack's almost empty. Give me the hay. <laughs> How about you girls? <laughs> no, we don't want anything to do with this. How about you, Fuzzy? Who are you, Fuzz? Are you hiding? Say hello, Fuzzy. Hello, YouTube. Be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, so I'm halfway emptying the hay into the container, and look, it's in here so tight. I can barely, I'm really straining to get it out, and I can barely pull it out. It's just crazy. Look at this. I'm really shaking it hard. And <laughs> Maybe I should just give it to guinea pigs like this and just let them eat it like this out of the bag. <laughs> no, then they eat the plastic. Don't let them eat plastic. That's not good for them. I'm finding a solution. Now that it's halfway out, I just squeeze, push from the top, and squeeze. And it's coming out a little bit. It's really thick. 
like they squeezed a whole bale in there or something. Golly. There. I'm actually surprised the girls aren't weaking. <laughs> but see now it's it's in there. That's a little 90 ounce bag. And if I just push it down without giving myself a tape hope because it hurts like you know what. <laughs> um, there. Now it's in my bin. And of course to keep the dust out of it you want to cover it. And I made sure it had a bin that didn't have any openings underneath the handles or anything like that because we don't want anything to get in there like bugs or hemphid snakes. I live in a part of the world we have to worry about snakes. So we don't want that. Alright, so there we go. My <laughs> Bag of hay is now in the bin, ready to go. That's my sol that's my solution for storing um, the hay in the new in the new bags. Um, okay, now I have to feed Yuna because I don't want her to go without hay. Remember, a guinea pig's diet is what 89% hay. You want to make sure they have it at all times. You may notice I have my cages set up a little bit differently today. I'm experimenting with the space to see what works here but eventually I want to get everybody in one cage so let me see what I got, what I got. you in here I actually wanted to get one guinea pig to I wanted to get one guinea pig to keep you in a company and of course as things go so we end up getting two and this is Sally she's like a what Abyssinian kind of fur some some folks have told me on Instagram that she might be a she's an Abyssinian Peruvian cross I don't really know because you just don't know when you get them Sometimes what they are. But there she is, she's gorgeous. She's tiny, she's maybe about three months old, that said. And then there's Ginger, she's a little bit bigger, maybe about four months old. She, uh... So I want to show you something that I have in my Etsy shop, and right now they are um, included in my 10% off uh, pre early bird turkey pre Thanksgiving sale. Um, and there's something here that I've made that I've actually created them to go with the space houses but you can also use them with a fleece forest or just in the corner of your cage. There's these corner mats. See the corner goes into your cage and then it's shaped to go around the edge. Um, and I just have them marketed as corner pee pads. They're great. I, this one here is the Love Owls. It's got the aqua on the other side. 